hello guys and welcome to another premiere pro tutorial today i'm going to show you how to create a smooth zoom blur transition effect in premiere pro so the first thing i'm going to do is to select my both clips over here and move over to my first control panel and drag my transform effect onto my both clips over here and automatically if i select one of my clip and move over to the first control panel you can find the transform effect on any of them now the next thing i'm going to do is to move my playhead to the middle of my clips over here let me zoom in so you can see it clearly I'm going to move to the last frame of this clip over here and under my transform effect, under scale, I'm going to increase the scale to 150% and I'm going to toggle on scale over here. Now I'm going to move three frames backward and I'm going to reverse the scale back to 100%. Let me zoom in so you can see it clearly. Drag this keyframe to the extreme end. I'm going to select these both keyframes over here right click and select auto bezier to make the animation more smooth and return this other keyframe back to the beginning now i'm going to move over to the second clip over here and from the first frame of this second clip i'm going to move over to my first control panel over here and i'm going to increase the scale under the transform effect to 125 and i'm going to toggle on animation for the scale property now i'm going to move three frames forward and reverse the scale back to hundred percent and if we go back now and hit play, you can see that zoom transition effect that we have created over here. But some people like to add the blur transition to it. And because it's in the title, I'm going to show you how to create that. All you need to do is to come back to your transform effect over here and deselect this use composition shutter and increase the shutter angle to 360 degrees. And that's the maximum amount for the blur. Select the next clip, move down and deselect the use composition shutter and increase the shutter angle to 360. And you can see that blur that has been added to the clip over here. And if I hit play, you'll be able to see that zoom in blur transition effect. But if you feel like the transition is too fast, you can select your clip, move down to your keyframes and use this arrow to move back to this first keyframe over here. And what you can do is to add two more frames to this keyframe. So I'm just going to select this and move this forward and go back to the next video. scroll down use this arrow to move to this next keyframe and use my right arrow to move two frames forward and take these two frames forward oh i forgot to select these keyframes and add the auto bezier effect to it so you can come out to the beginning here and render in and out so we can see our effects more clearer and that's it guys on how to create this zoom in blur transition effect in premiere pro i hope you found this tutorial very useful if you did Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow.